she's been doing so ever since. You know the most common question I'm asked about the bald eagle? Why is it called a bald eagle when it's quite obviously not bald? Ladies and gentlemen, I'll agree with the first part, but I will disagree with the second part. Firstly, I will agree this is not a bald eagle. That's right, it's not a bald eagle. But I will disagree. Ladies and gentlemen, the bird is bald. Are you confused? You need a history lesson. Ladies and gentlemen, come back with me off the fence, please. Come back with me just over 400 years. The Pilgrim Fathers set sail from Plymouth Harbour aboard the Mayflower. Their intention was to sail to the New World and colonise it. When they arrived in America, one of the first things they noticed were these huge birds. They were sitting in the trees, soaring in the sky. They... Stop doing your chicken impression. <laughs> Get off the ground. Stop doing your chicken impression. What was all that about? You. When they discovered these huge birds everywhere, ladies and gentlemen, they realised that it's the same size as a golden eagle, but a completely different colour. This was a new species, and the Pilgrim Fathers had the honour of naming this new bird. They named it, quite specifically, the Bald-Headed Eagle. That was its old, original, and grammatically correct name. Ladies and gentlemen, this is indeed a Bald-Headed Eagle. Are you still confused? No. In an English lesson now as well. It's turning out like school this afternoon, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, just over 400 years ago, the English language was very different. It was strongly influenced by Anglo-Saxon. Now, the ancient Anglo-Saxon word for white is bald. They named the bird the bald-headed eagle, the white-headed eagle. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll understand now why I say this isn't a bald eagle. No, it's not. It's not a white eagle. It is indeed a white-headed eagle. Listen. Now, any of you that have ever had anything...